Hey guys, this is Tom from EverydayGamers.com and today I am back with an unboxing for you on as you can tell by the title up at the top and also by the box that I'm holding here, Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger for the PlayStation 3. Uh, this is a game that's done by Arc System Works who is a company that's known for their fighting series Guilty Gear. Um, if you've never played that series, um, it's basically a 2D fighting series with hand-drawn sprites and um, just has a, a very comic book over the top look to it and this game is much similar to that. Um, in fact, from what I've heard and read, this is uh, the successor to that game now, or to that series now. I don't know if they're going to be done with the Guilty Gear series altogether. I hope not. However, um, if you're looking for a really cool, unique fighting game for either the PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360, this is definitely one to check out. Um, I would most compare it to, um, if I had to compare it to any other game, if you haven't played the Guilty Gear series, uh, I would probably compare it to uh, Marvel vs. Capcom in a way, just because of the over-top maneuvers, over-the-top maneuvers. Now, the characters are very, very unique, um, very interesting set of characters that you have to deal with. Um, so, just to give you a rundown, this is the collector's edition, or it's actually referred to as the limited edition. And uh, I don't know how limited the limited edition is, but uh, from what I've heard, this will be, the, the first print is all going to be limited editions. There's no standard edition um, that you can actually purchase at the store at this moment. However, I think that once this they decide to stop making the limited editions. They're just going to go to a standard edition. And um, what you get with this for fifty nine ninety nine, which is, you know, needless to say, the price of a standard PlayStation three or Xbox three hundred and sixty game, it's quite a bit and um, quite a really nice you know way for for them to kick off this series if they decide to uh, make sequels. Uh, but you get a two-disc original soundtrack, which contains 42 tracks um, by the original Guilty Gear um, conductor, I guess, uh, Dia uh, whoa, Daisuke Ishiwatari. I cannot pronounce Japanese words to save my life. It's hard enough for me to pronounce English words. And plus remixes by DJ Ono. Ono. Oh, and you also get a bonus Blu-ray movie disc containing basic tutorials, expert advice, character-specific strategies, and more. Uh, along with that, you obviously get the game. This game does support online play. You've got multiplayer. Uh, the nice thing about it is it has um, six-player rooms or six-player lobbies. It does have ranked matches, um, replay theater, just some other things. Now, the reason why I actually decided to pick this up on the PlayStation 3 versus the Xbox 360 is, number one, the packaging, and I'll get to that as I open this up. Number two, um, I was a fan of the Guilty Gear series, and I played that pretty much on the uh, PlayStation exclusively. So, you know, playing that on the PlayStation 2 and knowing that this is a game made by the same company, um, I just decided to kind of stick with that. And uh, thirdly, with this, as opposed to getting the standard 360 disc, now I don't know if it's, you know, optimized to play at 1080i on the 360, um, but, you know, with, with the PlayStation 3 version, you actually get a Blu-ray movie um, as opposed to a regular DVD. So um, I would say that that's... Those those factors alone kind of made this worth the purchase. Also, my brother decided to pick this game up as well, so um, we'll be able to play some online with that, and he's got it on the PlayStation 3. Uh, I've also been trying to add to my PlayStation 3 collection a little bit more lately. But let me go ahead and get to the unboxing on this. I know that that's what you are here for. And um, for anybody who's kind of wondering, I do have some uh, DS collection updates to do here soon. Um, I haven't picked up anything that you are all not aware of if you have watched all my um, videos it's just uh, it's been a little bit of a slow time for me and uh, I've got about three DS games that I do want to pick up uh, with a couple other ones that I'm looking at possibly getting so as soon as I get some notable titles um, you know I'll be making some more DS videos and uh, I do have some plans for some other DS videos here in the near future so don't think that I'm abandoning that altogether um, just continue to stick with me and hopefully you guys enjoy these videos enough that 
uh, you'll continue to watch. So just trying to get this shrink wrap off without causing too much damage to this box. We can go ahead and rip it off from here. But um, as I said, it comes in this nice box. And inside the box, this is just a cardboard outside. Um, inside the box, you actually have the two separate packages. So one thing I hate about trying to open up these cardboard boxes is that it's, I don't know, they don't make them easily accessible. So you've got the game disc, and then you've got the Blu-ray bonus discs in here. Now, let me explain to you what I meant about the packaging. And first, to, to do that, I'll just go ahead and open up the Blu-ray disc and the bonus disc um, themselves. Wow, not quite a sharp, not a sharp enough knife here. But definitely have some beautiful artwork um, on the on the, the bonus disc itself, as you can see there. Um, with the 360 version, they decided to go ahead and put it in a case, but instead of you know adding an extra flap like they did with the PlayStation 3 version, they stuck it on one of those. I guess it's like more of a, a recessed. Um, holder, you know, kind of how they did with uh, some of the other multi-disc games for the 360, and all three of the discs are stacked on, e on top of each other, and that to me um, just kind of drives me nuts a little bit. So, right off the bat, here you have the uh, limited edition soundtrack, that's disc one, and you have disc two right there, and then you have the bonus Blu-ray disc, and I just want to make sure this is definitely Blu-ray, I mean, I don't think they lie. However, I want to double check, and yeah, you can definitely tell by the coating on it that it is a Blu-ray disc. And let's go ahead and unbox the game itself, and I'll just show you, flip through the in instruction manual. Now, I've, I've actually gotten a chance to play this, and it's, um, it's a lot of fun. But let me go ahead and open this first. Sometimes it can be hard to hear me talking with the wrapper being unwrapped. And yeah, that's it. But like I was saying, the game's a lot of fun. And if you like 2D fighting games, and um, if you've gotten a chance to play any of the Guilty Gear games, this file picks up right where those games have left off. I mean, as far as the same game style. Uh, you've got a color instruction manual, which is a good touch. I definitely like the fact that, um, you know, they're a company that doesn't shy away from doing that. Um, you, you go through all the different characters here. And like I said, the characters are just so interesting. I can't even get into details about the characters because uh, it's just so over the top. It would take probably an entire video just to um, explain any of that. Uh, but I just, I don't know if there is a demo out or not. I would just recommend, you know, if you've got Gamefly or, like I said, if you're a fan of 2D fighting games at all and you like, uh, you know, a really beautiful hand-drawn art style, this is a really good game, really worth the, the purchase. Um, I, like I said, I got a chance to play a little bit of this over at my brother's house. We were playing some, uh, some uh, one versus one or, or you know, some two-player. And uh, a lot of fun, but definitely um, a game that you need to spend some time with before you jump online and get your butt handed to you, at least in my case. And that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I do have some more videos coming for you soon. I have to do a 360 um, update for you. And uh, I'll be doing that here within the next couple of days or so. Thanks for sticking with me. And I know it's been a little bit slow lately on my channel, but I will be bringing you some more content here soon. And I will talk to you all soon.